Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to Rain Tops to Four of Cautious Heroes. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Hmm. Just take the kids. I mean, come on, they're cute. You start to, you might, you might want to stop them, like, ultimately, but no. I mean, can't you wait until after to discuss money? I mean, you know, babe, I ain't mad at you, like, discussing money now, but, because I know I do the same damn thing, but, mm. I don't know. Maybe, but probably not. It's okay for start day slash you. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, how'd that go? Shit, we don't care. Like, uh. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh boy, boom. I hate that feeling. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But I mean, you could just have him travel with you guys. <laughs> Are you okay? Like five hundred left. Yeah, maybe he just wants to go out there to just prove himself. That's okay. Congratulations. Honestly, when he was getting ready to say, look at this, I thought he was thinking about something else. <laughs> My dirty line today. Yeah. 
Um, it's probably not good. <laughs> A mirror? <laughs> Is that mesh? Who is this Ayn's wannabe? No, don't kill him. He's a baby. My thing is, how the hell are you going to find him? Just, just watch. Told you. <laughs> Go lay down. Uh, okay. You can't be rude to her!
You could have just said thank you. Honestly, he should just cut both of his hands off because then he wouldn't be able to grab anything. Oh, I bet you he, yeah, he fine. Huh. And what else can you use against a ghost? Like, it can't be like no fucking Luigi's Mansion and Ghostbusters where you shine the light on them and suck them in. Love No, he's going to stop that, too. No, that bracelet. (laughs) 
he even made it or bought it. Really? Come on. <laughs> you little freaking dog. <laughs> really? His dog. him so much. Can't with him sometimes, but you gotta love him. Oh my god. Can we just talk about the part <laughs> where she was like, oh my god, is this a date? I mean, it felt like a date to me too. But, like, she was like, hey, hold on. I'm about to go fat. And like, oh no. <laughs> I know that feeling though. Oh my god. But, <laughs> Girl, that see, that's why we wear really good supported bras so that you never know. But then sometimes, even when you wear a really good bra, something happens. <laughs> but I mean, you know, for Mash to go all the way over there to go against that thing, like, come on, man, like, you knew you wasn't gonna be able to do anything. I mean, I, you know, I gotta applaud him though. I have to, even though they didn't show him, like, actually fighting and everything, he tried. We don't know how much he tried, but he tried his best. So, you know what? You get a round of applause from me. <laughs> but, oh my god. Like, okay. That should literally tell you right now that, yes, you need to take these kids. You need to take Lulu and Mash and let them be in the team. It's fine. I mean, yes. Even though, yes, some people will think that kids are annoying in some shows, and... It, it, it seems like say it is that type of character who's like, yeah, I don't really want kids on my team. They seem a little annoying. And then plus, not only do I have to protect a goddess, I also have to protect kids. And it's like, no, 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 no. They can defend and protect themselves. There's nothing wrong with the kids joining you and such. But I think after now, after seeing this episode and, you know, in a way, praising Mash for what he did, I think essentially say is going to want to have the kids on his team and just like, you know, go on journeys and stuff. But can we also fucking talk about the fact that, like, oh my God, this dude, like, I can't believe it sometimes. Like, he could have just said thank you to Ishtar. Ishtar is an old woman. You gotta be respectful to your damn elders. Like, I'm just saying. And then he over here, like, you get my praise. If, if that is your thank you, I don't even want to know what your, like, your welcome is or something. Because I would have been like, thank you, oh my god, and then like, but, and then I would have came back and possibly brought her, maybe like, I don't know, his dead body or some shit, but like, here, here's a gift of the fact is that, yes, I slayed this thing, I killed it, here you go, take it, put it on, you know, your wall of <laughs> achievements or something, here's everything, 
But honestly, like, the more I watch the show, the more I just shift and start to say it. They just look so fucking good together. I just can't. But I understand, yes, a goddess and a human cannot procreate in a relationship. But you know what? It's okay. We don't even give a ish. We would sacrifice that. I mean, if she had to, like, remove her goddess status, just like, um, if an angel flew down to me, how when she went down and she lost her wings and everything, and then they were still together, but she died and stuff. Oh my god. It's like, I would cry if that fucking happened, but no. I mean, I think if she does pursue a relationship with him, like, I, I think she just wouldn't be a goddess anymore. Maybe she'd be able to go to the human realm, even though we don't know if he's probably gonna be able to get back home. A thing. But we ain't gonna know. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to the episode 4 of Kachitiro. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 5. Bye, guys.